friends, it's Sigrid. If this is your first time here, I make videos about books and book related things. Today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the February as well as the March reveal book box. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the like button so that you can see the videos that I post in the future. I post a lot of book subscription unboxings and starting this year, I'm also going to be unboxing a few beauty and lifestyle subscription boxes as well. So let's get started with the reveal book boxes. I think that this is the February box, so I'm going to unbox that one first. It is just beautifully wrapped in pink tissue paper, and that is just perfect. Thing I'm seeing it is a card from Reveal, and it says, Dear Reader, thank you for your purchase. We hope you love your box. Reviews are so important to small businesses like ours. Oh, thank you. I'm going to take that personally. <laughs> if you love your box and would be willing to leave a short review where you purchased, We'd be so grateful. Facebook reviews help too. Um, so basically this is just, you know, saying if you do subscribe to the box, don't forget to leave a review because they are a small business and anything that we say can and will be used against them. I'm just kidding. Um, so the first thing I'm seeing is a, a cute little soy candle. I think we get these about every box. It's so cute. All right, we get a lot of bookmarks in here. So this one is about a book called Weekends Require. This is a Danvers novel. It's hard work, but someone has to do it. Next up is a list of series here. Wow, if you want to pause, you can. Okay, and then there is a Kaylee Ryan Lacey Black. So um, these are all their books. So I am seeing this cute little wine sticker. I just recently got into like drinking wine more and like no regrets. So the first book I am seeing is called My Fallen Saints by Jay Kenner. Cute. And of course, with all of Reveal's boxes, they come signed. Let me read the back. So it says, his touch is her sin. Her love is his salvation. Charismatic, confident, powerful, controlling. A brilliant investor with a Midas touch, Devlin Saint turned a modest inherited fortune into billions and now operates one of the world's foremost international philanthropic organization. He's a man determined to help the underprivileged to fight injustice and to make the world a better place. And that at least is true. It's not, however, the full truth. Because Devlin Saint is a man with a dangerous secret, one he'll do whatever it takes to protect. And when investigative reporter Ellie Holmes turned her attention to an unsolved murder, she finds herself caught in a web of intrigue and passion as Devlin draws her closer and closer. But as the intensity and sensuality of their relationship grows, so does Ellie's suspicion until she is no longer certain if the heat between her and Devlin is real or only a facade he constructed to hide his dark and twisted secrets. Whoa, that sounds so good. So it's kind of like a thriller romance. Okay, uh, reveal. This is like really up my alley because thrillers are also like one of my favorite like book genres. So the next book I see is called I Never Planned On You by Stephanie Jenkins. Cute little cover. Cute, cute, cute. And it's also signed with extra stuff. It says forever and always. Oh, how cute. And I'm seeing a cute purple pen. Can never have too many of them. I'm also seeing another type of pen. It says, where suspense and heat collide. Cute. And the last thing I am seeing is a pixie stick. I haven't had a pixie stick literally since I was a little kid. Like, I couldn't even tell you. Oh, and there's another pixie stick. I'm probably gonna eat these like right after filming this video, by the way. <laughs> We're gonna move on to what I think is the March box. First thing I'm seeing is this. It says Erin McCarthy, New York Times bestselling author. What, what is this? <gasps> you guys, I needed this so freaking much. I can never open jars. Like sometimes, Wait, what was it? It was something I ended up having to throw out because no matter how hard I tried, I could not get that freaking jar open. As a single woman, we need a jar opener. So this is like one of those jar openers. Like, I'm so, like, they know, they know me, they know what I need. And it's pink too. I'm keeping this right in my kitchen so that I can easily access it to open my jar pickles that I have like so often. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing is a cute little plastic bracelet that says romance writer. That is so cute. I see another soy candle, cute. 
<gasps> Six lets. Oh my God. It's like they include candy from my childhood. Six lets. You know what? I cannot even wait until I'm off the camera. Like, I'm going to have one. At least. Oh my God. Like, little cigarette. That didn't come out right. Childhood secret. Mmm. Okay. Take me to church. Take me to church. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I just realized this is a romance box. It's the furthest thing from church. Okay. So I see a bookmark that says the modern fairy tale collection. Cute. I see another bookmark that says undeniable a second chances novel. She can run, but in the end, their love is undeniable. <laughs> cute I am seeing oh oh my god so we get a free book I guess I'm gonna have to cover this thing so you know sorry you guys I don't want to you know give away the free book because I don't know if I'm allowed to do that I don't want to get in trouble okay so it says fallen for the stars as zodiac themed romance series and it says open your camera app and scan this code from your smartphone this is a free book for romance reveal book box subscribers wow so we get a free box and on this side it's like a letter um from the author that that's pretty cool so we got three books in this one um so we got another pen the pens are so cute like i can never have too many pens i'm telling you oh you guys so i see my first book so this was called everywhere savage princess book one and this is by liberty freer once upon a time everything fell apart Ooh, sounds interesting let's see what it says on the back many orphan girls dreams of becoming a princess for me that just became my nightmare <sighs> my life has been consistently unstable for the past 19 years so i was under the impression nothing could shock me i was wrong Forced to attend the famous Westling interview, I'm told I'm Anna Westling, the lost princess who was kidnapped at the age of three, which is ridiculous because I'm the opposite of what a princess is supposed to be. Thinking it must be a sick joke, I bolt, but Dominic Cabot hunts me down. He's determined to make me spill secrets that I don't know. When he doesn't get the answers he's looking for, he's left with a choice. Leave it to him, the ruthless domineering brute, to pick the wrong one. Now to save the only family I have ever known, I have to spend two months as someone I'm not. I'll do my forced time. I'll live her life, but I won't change myself, even if it kills me. And it just might, because not everyone is happy that Princess Anna has returned. Oh, this is so cute. I think this is the first time that I got a book series. Um, yeah. And then it's actually like, it's not the same, like, size as the other ones like you see like usually the romance are kind of big this is like I guess the romance version of a paperback book that is so cute I'm actually really interested in this this is kind of really cool all right so the next book that I'm seeing is called Twisted Circles by Claire Contreras okay so it says when someone tells you who you are do you believe them the first question the cops asked me was if anything out of the ordinary happened to me lately when I woke up this morning in the room of a mental institution, I couldn't remember a thing, not my name nor how I got there, not how I left or how I ended up in that interrogation room. The only thing I knew came from the contents inside my bag, a wallet, a student ID, a key that opened an unknown door and two notebooks. They tell me my name, it matches my ID. They tell me my story, I shut my eyes and I try to piece it together but I can't. They tell me why they picked me up in the first place. They thought I was my sister. My brain stays stuck there. I try to rewind and fast forward as if my memories were on a videotape, but it's no use. I can't recall having a sister. They put me back in the car and dropped me off in front of the mansion they called the manor. And I discovered that the mysterious key in my backpack unlocks the front door and just as quickly wish I'd never unlocked it at all. Hold the phone. Cancel every book that I plan on reading this month. This is going to be the first one. I have never wanted to read a book so bad in my life that I've gotten from them. Of course, this one is signed. Did I show you guys the other one? And all of their books are signed. Um, ooh, what does it say? Happy reading. I love when they include additional stuff besides just the signature. I have to read this book. I'm so excited about this. Like, oh my, doesn't this sound really good? It's like a thriller 
I don't even think this a romance. Like I didn't see a romance like element in the synopsis. It's just kind of like, what the hell is happening? Like a psychological thriller. I'm reading this next. I'm keeping this by my bedside. Thank you so much Reveal for sending me this. Oh, they just know me so well. So that's everything that is in the box. I'm gonna eat another piece of candy because I'm a child today. Mm. Okay, that is everything that came in my reveal. You know what, that's rude of me. Mm. Okay, I'm done. Ooh, I'm so excited. I haven't had a cichlid since I was a kid and I'm just so happy that it's in here. Last month, it was like a Tootsie Roll Pop. Go check that one out because I, I, I was so happy. Okay, so that's everything that came in my reveal book boxes for the past two months. Yeah, that's everything. I will see you guys soon in another video, a beauty or book related. I have so much planned in the future, so don't forget to subscribe. But uh, until next time, I will see you. Bye.